What is going on everybody? It is Ahmed and I am back today with yet another video for you on today guys We're gonna be talking about the Terra Luna classic burns that have been going on since basically the entire UST downfall as always I like to preface by saying that I'm not a financial advisor But rather I always try to put you guys on the plays that I'm in and we're gonna dive right into the video today But before I do so there is one thing that I want to mention for the month of June so if you haven't taken advantage of the link in the description below for Moomoo, they are offering up to five free stocks when you deposit money into your Moomoo trading account. In addition, if you deposit $100, you get a Lucid Motors stock for free as a part of the promotion going on for the month of June, which is re what's really cool with the welcome bonus is again, one up to five free stocks worth, the, worth $3 to $2,500 a piece. And you can see all the ones that are listed here, Google included. And then you also get free real-time level two data for U.S. stocks for those of you who are diversifying your portfolio out of crypto. And of course, zero dollar commission for U.S. residents trading U.S. stocks. Now, Terra Luna, Terra Luna Classic, currently down 13.84% on the day. We're looking at the seven day chart here. And honestly, since basically the disruption of the ecosystem with the, with the fall and the depegging of UST, it seems like it's been just a continuously falling knife. Now, there has been hopes because the community thought and saw the potential to bind together and create significant community burns. When I think of burns, I think of when it comes to stock market squeezes, right? Community comes together to put pressure on, to put buying pressure on something that is continuously falling down or something that is actually lackluster when it comes to the potential for upside. Now, the thing that I want to talk about specifically, yes, the overall market is down. Yes, Terra Luna Classic is down. But this here, more than five years will be needed to remove the first trillion from supply at the current Terra Luna Classic burn rate. So you can see, LUNC burn progresses at a slow pace. The Terra community members engage in burning LUNC or Lunic in a bid to reduce the token circulating supply. Terraform Labs it's still committed to making investors whole after they suffered a devastating blow. You can have your own opinion on that. I have mine, which I don't really agree with the statement. Following the collapse of the firm's ecosystem, UST and Luna. Despite the launch of the new chain and the Luna tokens um, and new Luna tokens, now L the previous Luna being LUNC, Terra investors still did not feel the method is sufficient to compensate for their losses as they continue to yearn for a burn. So one thing that people are quickly starting to realize is the potential for us to actually get our money back with Luna, the new token that launched for the ecosystem, is extremely low. We need to see it multiplied by tens, if not hundreds of times before we can actually see an ROI based off the distribution that was received for those of us who were investing in the Luna ecosystem prior to the depegging and even prior to the launch of the new Luna. Meanwhile, the creation of Luna tokens implies that Terra Luna has now two Luna tokens. While one is referred to Luna, the other is referred to, referred to as LUNT. Most of you probably already know this. Both tokens exist, um, exist excuse me, side by side at the time of the writing, which it still does today. This is only about a 24 hour old article. Well, so what did Doquan do? He came out and created an inflammable LUNT address. He said, if you want to send tokens via Twitter, go ahead and send a token to this burn address. But... We're not going to really, it's not going to really probably affect the price action unless it takes a really long period of time. Well, so far since he's launched this new address, which is an inflamm flammable one, meaning that it does burn any tokens that are sent to it directly. Well, again, there's between 20 to 60 million tokens being burnt on a daily basis out of circulation, suggesting that it would take quite a lot of work and commitment to burn more tokens. We see this with the Shiba Inu ecosystem and we're seeing with a lot of other tokens as well. Because honestly, when I think of burns, I kind of think of them as gimmicks. They're not really going to actually increase the price of each individual token. The concept and idea behind them, yes, it's possible. But the reality is without demand for the token, regardless of what the supply is, it's not going to be worth anything, right? Think about Bitcoin, for example. It has a finite 18 million. Let's go ahead and get an exact number from CoinMarketCap. It has a circulating supply of 19 million Bitcoins currently. Well, so why is it that because it's so finite, because it's so small relative to all, the, all these other tokens, why doesn't Bitcoin's price continue to go up as the demand for Bitcoin increases? Well, because it's based off market sentiments. It's based off market volatility. What is happening? Are people buying Bitcoin or not? If people are just selling their positions, the, the price goes down. If people are buying more so than selling, we see the price go up. 
So again, when it comes to burns, I do understand why the community wants to see one. And again, if we burn a significant amount, that's actually going to maybe impact the demand of it because people who are on the sidelines right now might say, oh, this actually might have a reversal and the demand might start going up. Then the burn rates and the burns make sense. This here is what the Terra community said. So this is from a Reddit post, D33N5. He said, looks like the burns are doing all right. Another user estimated that the rate of 60 million NUNC burns per day is estimated it is estimated that it will take approximately 300 years for the community to successfully burn the crypto circulating supply. 300 years. So not you, your children, or your grandchildren, most likely, would be able to witness the LUNC achieving its full potential and going back to its all-time highs. So in my opinion, either we need to accelerate the burns or we need to increase the demand by implementing something within this community that actually brings retail and institutional investors funds back into the um, back into the ecosystem because that's what's hurting right now. Doquan has been silent for a couple of days, but I'm hoping that over time we will start to see the success of LUNC and Luna's ecosystem. I still hold my Luna tokens, my LUNC token, which is actually now LUNC. So pardon me there. And I'm hopeful that together with the community, we can continue to come up with ideas and concepts for the burns. It's going to take a lot more powerful minds to come together bind together to identify a way for us again to bring that buying pressure in to increase the demand which in turn will hopefully also decrease the supply because again when there's more demand there's gonna be more burns and if there's more burns then hopefully collectively all those things together will bring the price action back up only time will tell but i appreciate you guys support as always make sure you smash that like button and also consider subscribing to the channel and until next time everybody keep investing peace